Australians for constitutional monarchy, or as it was alternatively called, it could well have been its name, Leadership Beyond Politics, was launched at the Sydney Town Hall in 1992 under a charter drafted by His Honour Mr Justice Michael Kirby, who was then President of the Court of Appeal and soon after that a Justice of the High Court of Australia. And it was a response, a response to the formation of the Australian Republican movement and the moves by Mr Paul Keating, the Prime Minister, and Malcolm Turnbull, who headed his Republic Advisory Committee, to change Australia into a republic. And after that, ACM became gradually the largest and oldest constitutional monarchist organisation in Australia. And has had a number of significant moments. One was in 1996 when Bob Carr expelled the governors from Government House. And ACM organised the biggest demonstration on this subject in Australia. And one of the most peaceful demonstrations in Macquarie Street, Sydney against the expulsion of the governor. There was over 20,000 people in the street at the time, all supportive of our action there. And we continued that. We led the campaign to restore the governor and the governor was eventually restored in New South Wales. In addition, we led the, uh, the constitutional monarchist case at the Constitutional Convention which John Howard established in 1998 to handle the question of a republic. And we won 80% of those who opposed the formation of a republic, or that particular republic, according to government figures. And then we led the no case in the referendum in 1999, the result being that we won nationally, we won in every state, and we won in 76% of Commonwealth electorates. Since the National Conference, every year to maintain the organisation, to maintain the intellectual rigour of the arguments we have been advancing, we've held a national conference every year. The only organisation, Republican or monarchist, to do this since the referendum. And in many ways, it followed from what Bob Hawke lamented at the time of the referendum. He said, the constitutional monarchists are losing, or winning rather, the constitutional monarchists are winning the intellectual argument. And in addition to holding a national conference, we've been audited annually, one of the few organisations which have had that in this experience. And so we have this national conference and we decided that the theme should be as always relevant and it would be a tale of two great commonwealths, the United States and Australia. Because of the American election and the role of the United States, it was highly relevant to compare the two commonwealths, the United States and Australia, because so much of what our founders decided to insert into our constitution at the time of federation comes from the American example. And the two countries have been very close and we decided to invite one of our more prominent members, John Olson, who is both American and Australian to be involved in a conversation, a serious conversation comparing the different institutions. In addition, we decided to invite a young leading broadcaster in Australia, Michael McLaren, to another conversation. And that is, the theme of that is a superb constitution which could be better. And we wanted to talk with him the changes which he thinks should be made in Australia to improve the governance of Australia. And that proved to be a fascinating session.